गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू सकल विजय यूट्यूब चैनल गुड मॉर्निंग वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग स्वाति सिंह आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम सो वेरी गाड़ी बेन Okay, yesterday due to some technical problems, I was not able to upload probability ninth part number nine. So still today I need to do it. So I need to complete all the questions so that uh, even offline viewers also may get benefited. Right? Rekha Revati. वंशी साई वैभव पोटोरी राइट टुडे वी ट्राई टू कंप्लीट दिस चैप्टर बट द स्टडीज प्रॉब्लम्स नीड टू बी रिवाइज्ड बिकॉज द फाइल हैज बीन करप्टेड सो आई नीड टू डू वंस अगेन राइट राकेश राखी वैष्णवी सुधा स्वाति अखिल लक्ष्मी श्रीनिवास रेड्डी वैष्णवी राइट स्वाति सिंह वंशी कृष्ण मंजुला पवन सो दे आर ऑल रेगुलर ओके वन मोर थिंग एक्चुअली ऑन संडे इवनिंग इवनिंग फाइव टू सिक्स यू हैव जूम मीटिंग ऑन दैट एक्चुअली वन आई इनवाइटेड केमिस्ट्री फैकल्टी टू डिस्कस यूर डाउट्स so that's why i will share the zoom link through whatsapp groups better most of the your friends you may attend it okay fine 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 okay right vikram mat pavan kumar ओके चंदूला वैभव थैंक यू प्रमोदनी गुड 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 आई एम डूइंग गुड व्हाट अबाउट यू एम आई ऑडिबल टू यू दीप्ति एम आई ऑडिबल सो टुमारो ऑनवर्ड्स द क्लासेस विल बी कंजेक्टेड मॉर्निंग 7:15 ओनली आईडी नंबर आई विल फॉरवर्ड फॉरवर्ड आई विल फॉरवर्ड इट okay it's okay right 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 it's readable okay now let us move to the question study 60th question see this is other to be Just first read me. Uh, let me read the question. Here, out of twenty-five natural numbers, two chosen at random. The probability for one of the numbers to be a multiple of three and other to be a multiple of five. So that means randomly, the two chosen from twenty-five natural numbers. the probability that one of the numbers to be multiple of 3 and other should be multiple of 5 okay so that means actually see the solution will be like this let us say a be the event of getting getting a multiple a multiple of 3 that means probability of a is equal to we can write like this so multiples of 3 means 25 divided by 3 3 8ja 24 so one reminder just neglect the reminder 8 
there will be 8 upon total 25, 8 by 25. Next, let B be the event of getting, event of getting a multiple of 5. That means 25 divided by 5. Here coefficient is 5. Reminder 0. So that means uh, probability of uh, B. Getting multiple of 5 means 5 upon 25. So that will be how much we will be getting? Phi 1 ja, phi 5 ja. Right. 1 upon 5. Right. 1 upon 5. So next, uh, multiple of 3 and other be a multiple of 5. Probability what one of the numbers to be multiple of 3 and other to be multiple of 5. Okay. Right, right, right. Same thing I did mistake itself only here. This directly we can do also without this one. Let A be the multiple of 3 and 5, 3 and 5, 3 and 5, multiple of 3 and 5, that means LCM of 3 and 5 is 15, now 25 divided by 15, 15 1 ja 15, that means Here 10, 1. That means see multiple of uh, 10 will be okay. 1 by 5 you are getting 1 by 5. 1 by 5. Multiple of A be the multiple of 3. Okay, I come to this next this question later. Okay. Let us come to 61 question first. 4, 5 or 6 on the first task and 1, 2, 3 or 4 on the second task. Uh, here see, a fair dice is tossed twice, the probability of getting 4, 5 or 6 on the first task and 1, 2, 3, 4 on the second task. Second task. Right. Solution. Here, let A be the event of getting event of getting 4, 5, or 6. When a fair dice is tossed, when a fair dice is tossed, that means probability of A equals to out of 6, 3 chances. 3 by 6. This will be 3 by 6. So, obviously 1 by 2. Let B be the event of getting event of getting 1, 2, 3 or 4. So that means P of B is equal to 4 chances out of 6. 2, 2 ja, 
to 3j that is 2 by 3 here a comma b are independent a comma b are independent independent so we need to find out p of a intersection b p of a intersection b is equal to p of a times p of b so p of a equals to 1 by 2 into 2 by 3 2 2 gets cancelled we have 1 upon 3 so third option third option yes yes now the 60 second 60 second question 60 second <coughs> A bag contains 4 black, 5 white, 6 red. A bag contains 4 black, 5 white and 6 red balls. If 4 balls are drawn one by one with replacement, this is important, with replacement, the probability that none is red, none is red. See the fourth option is, uh, fourth option write down none okay a bag contains four black and five white six red balls if four balls are drawn one one after one with replacement the probability that none is red none is red so that means actually what we need to do means actually here see solution a bag contains four black five white six red let a be the event of getting event of getting a red ball red ball so p of a is equal to probability of getting red ball is 6 upon 6 plus 5 is 11 plus 5 is 15 this will be 3 3 ja 3 5 ja 3 by 5 3 by probability of getting this is the red ball so probability of not getting red ball is p of a bar is equal to 1 minus 3 by 5 that will be 2 by 5 2 by 5 so the probability that none is red none is red that means probability of probability of first ball should not be red second ball should not be red okay so that means probability of uh, that none is red you can say like this r1 bar intersection r2 bar intersection r3 bar intersection r4 bar that means they are independent say this is r bar you say this uh, 2 by 5 into 2 by 5 into 2 by 5 into 2 by 5 this will be 2 2 ja 4 4 2 ja uh, 8 2 ja 16 16 upon 625 so fourth option is the none yes 63 one bag contains four white three black balls another bag contains three white and five black balls if one ball is drawn from each bag the probability of selecting one white and one black ball probability of selecting 
one white and one black ball so that means actually first bag this the first bag contains four white three black second bag second bag contains second bag contains three white five black balls right if one ball is drawn from the bag probability of selecting one white and one black ball so directly let us do it without time wasting probability of selecting one white one white ball and one black ball is equal to that means here as we have the two bags one white ball may be from first bag or one uh, black ball from b from second one because we need to select only one ball is drawn from each bag this condition is there this is very important condition that means we can select like this so probability of selecting one white uh, from one one bag and uh, one black ball b2 say second one r r means plus p of one white ball from second bag two stands for second bag one black ball from one so this we can write like this so this we can write like this probability of selecting one white ball from here is 4 upon 7 one black ball from second bag second bag is 5 upon 8 plus one white ball from second one that is 3 upon 8 one black ball from first bag that is 3 by 7 20 by 56 9 by 56 this will be 29 by 56 so first option is the right option right Right. Is absolutely correct. Here see the P of A, A be the event of getting red ball, P of A is equal to how many red balls are there, 6 red balls upon 4 plus 5, 15, so 3 2 ja, 3 5 ja, 2 by 5, now P of A bar, R bar rider, not getting red ball, that is 1 minus 2 by 5. That will be 3 by 5. Yes, absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. I did mistake. So now, absolutely sorry. Now, this will be 3 by 5 into 3 by 5 into 3 by 5 into 3 by 5. This is equal to 3, 3, 9, 9, 3, 27, 27, 3, 81 upon 625. Yes, first option is the right option. Right. So now it's okay, I think so. Right. Sixty fourth problem. This is the name of the bag. A bag X contains two white, three black balls. Other bag Y. Bag Y contains four white, two black balls. One bag is selected at random. This is important. 
one bag is selected at random means even we need to find out the probability of selecting the first bag and probability of selecting the second bag also a ball drawn from it the probability probability that the chosen be white that must be white ball so that means directly i can do it this one uh this is the first bag say x bag this is say x x bag contains two white three black next take y bag y bag contains four white two black balls now the probability of selecting chosen be white let us say solution is like this probability of w probability of selecting white ball that means actually probability of selecting x bag x and probability of w conditioned on x or r means plus probability of bag number y probability of selecting bag y and probability of getting white ball from y bag y bag so probability of x means actually both here will two chances x y out of x y x can be selected one way that out of two one by two this will be one by two and probability of selecting white ball from x bag number one that is two chances out of five two upon five so plus probability of selecting y bag is one by two and white ball is how many white balls are there four upon total six so two two ja two two gets cancelled we have one upon five plus one upon three so 15 is the lcm three plus five eight by 15 third option is the right option right an arna contains 8 black balls 5 this is white balls white balls a second arn b contains 6 black 7 white balls probability that a blind bow folded person in one draw shall obtain a white ball same concept same concept same concept means actually you can take like this this is first a bag this is b bag a bag is 8 block 5 white total 13 here here 6 block 7 white here also total balls so you need to select a white ball that means solution directly i will write probability of w here two cases will arise the ball is from and uh, the white ball is from bag number a that means first we need to select the bag probability of selecting white bag sorry a that is p of a probability of selecting first bag then probability of selecting white ball from it r r means plus probability of selecting second bag and probability of selecting white ball from it so just uh, we do, we need not remember formula with the logic with the help of logic we can do it just with the help of common sense we can solve the problem p of a p of a means here we have only two bags out of two bags a bag can be selected one way out of 2 1 by 2 number of favorable cases is 1 out two cases into now 
the probability of selecting white ball from 8 black balls and 5 white balls. 8 plus 5 is 13. White balls is 5. Plus second bag. Selection of the second bag is probability of selecting second bag is 1 by 2. White ball from it. That is 7 upon 13. So this will be 5 upon 26 plus 7 upon 26. That will be 12 upon 26. This will be 2 6 ja, 2 13 ja. 6 upon 13. You check the option. You check the option. So that means third option. Yes. Right. Sixty-sixth question. Sixty-sixth. A speaks truth. A speaks truth. Eighty percent of the cases. Of the cases. And B in sixty per cent of the cases. Of which they likely to contradict contradict each other in stating the same fact in stating the same fact same fact. So, which they like to contradict other in stating the stating the A speaks truth 80% of the cases and B in 60% of the cases. Right, right, right. I did mistake here. Question stem is very important. 60% of the cases, this is the tag, very important. The percentage, the percentage of the cases, the percentage of the cases of which they likely to contradict contradict each other each other in stating the same fact is Same fact is first one is forty four per cent, second one is fifty five per cent, third one is eighty per cent, fourth one is twenty per cent, fourth one is twenty per cent. So, this is very, very important problems. Actually, we expect this question in the examination. Very important question. I think as far as my experience is concerned, I, what I observed in so many examinations, it appeared. So, it may appear also. 
it's very important problem right a speaks truth 80% of the cases b in 60% of the cases speaks truth the percentage of the cases this is important the percentage of the cases of which they likely to contradict each other in stating the same fact same fact contradict means oppose deny deny right right i will check later i will check later 43 means i need to go for 43 so tomorrow i will discuss about that one right here now let us do 66 solution let a be the let a be the event that a speaks truth a speaks truth a speaks truth so that's p of a is given probability of speaks truth p of a is equal to 80% 80% means for 100 80 by 100 this will be 8 by 10 becomes 4 by 5 that means probability that a speaks to truth is 4 by 5 so now let b be the event that event that b speaks truth b speaks truth about one statement it may be same statement only that we need to consider p of b is equal to how much given that is 60% 60% means for cent means for 100 for 100 cases he will speak 60 times 60 by 100 so 6 by 10 that is 2 3 2 to 5 yeah 3 by 5 am i correct now you check it now this p of a and p of b is correct yes p of a p of b so now for example from this one only we get p of a bar p of a bar means a does not speak truth that is complementary event 1 minus 4 by 5 this will be 3 by 5 that means a does not speak probability of that probability that a does not speak truth 3 by 5 probability that b does not speak truth p of b bar is equal to 1 minus 3 by 5 that's equal to 2 by 5 so now let us come to the question so what is the question the percentage of the cases of which they likely to contradict each other so contradict each other means two cases will arise what are the two cases case 1 what is the case 1 a speaks truth a speaks truth but b does not speak truth does not speak truth this is called this is called contradicting each contradicting each other or case 2 will arise case 2 a does not speak truth about the same statement but but b speaks truth truth this actually this sense is called this is exclusive sense or either case 1 or case 2 symbolically we need to write so that means actually p of probability of contradict each other contradict contradict each other is equal to p of a speaks truth and b does not speak truth that means p of a intersection b bar plus p of a does not speak truth p of a bar intersection b 
so here you remember a comma b are independent persons are independent so events also obviously independent a comma b are independent now we can apply multiplication theorem on this one p of a multiplied by since a independent a comma b are independent b bar also independent p of a into p of b bar plus p of a bar into p of b using multiplication theorem p of a means already given p of a is equal to 4 by 5 so 4 by 5 right on p of b bar p of b bar is equal to 2 by 5 plus p of a bar so p of a bar is equal to 3 by 5 multiplied p of b p of b is equal to 3 by 5 so you get like this 8 upon 25 plus 9 upon 25 this will be how much we'll be getting p of a bar is 1 by 5 Yes, 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 I am doing a lot of uh, errors today. What happened? I do not know. Yes, yes. Yes, 1 by 5. P of A bar is 1 by 5. Right. Is calculation mistake? I need to rectify 1 by 5. Yes, see, it's a lot of. Uh, okay. Right. Now it's correct, I think so. 11 upon 25. Correct? Yes, 11 by 25. Absolutely. But what we are asked, percentage we are asked. That means percentage we need to find out. Percentage. That means percentage equal to. 11 by 25 multiplied 100. 25 1 jar, 25 4 jar. Answer is 44 percent. That means in the 44 percent of the cases, they contradict, they contradict each other. This is the answer, 44 percent. We check it, yes, 44 percent is there. This problem is very, very important. Very, very important. Today, I will discuss more important problems. Still, we have a lot of time. So, that's why as quick as possible, I completed yesterday proceedings. Now, I am going for very important problems. One more important problem. 67th problem. Two persons, two persons, a and B, two persons A and B toss a dice, toss a dice. The person, the person who first, who first throws Six, 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 wins if A starts, A starts the game a starts the game, then the probability the probability of is winning is winning that means A must win is first option 1 upon 2 First option 1 upon 2, 
second option 5 upon 11 third option 6 upon 11 fourth option 10 upon 11 this is actually IP question itself only but it's very important question very very important question need to concentrate this question is very very important now the two persons A and B toss a dice or rolled a dice whatever it may be you can say no problem who first throws 6 he will be the declarer the winner in the game if A starts the game then what is the probability of his winning that we need to find out so that means actually let me explain this problem this problem is actually absolutely based on the concept based question for example uh, actually the winning the game depends upon getting a six when a dice is rolled that means getting a success in the game winning means success so that getting a success in the game depends on actually getting six when a dice is rolled getting a 6 when a dice is rolled means there are one chances out of 6 1 by 6 that is the probability of success so first we need to find out probability of success is p we need to find out let us say p or whatever it may be that is 1 by 6 for both a and b but a actually if a begins the game then what is his winning probability chance of probability that means uh, here uh, if two persons are actually uh, rolling the dice or tossing the ties, uh, dice, A must win means in first attempt only A should win. Otherwise, what happens in first in first attempt A must fail, first attempt B must fail, in second attempt A must success. Then A will be declared as the winner or otherwise one more case also if not possible in first two attempts both will fail in third up attempt a get the success like that it will be continued up to till a wins the match so that means so we need to write like this 67 solution let p be the probability of getting success getting success in the game that means p is equal to that probability of getting 6 when a dice is rolled that is 1 by 6 obviously q will be the failure 1 minus p 1 minus 1 by 6 that is 5 upon 6 see if a starts the game a starts the game then following cases will arise following cases will arise what is the first case first attempt only first attempt only a wins first time only gets 6 then he will be declared as the winner otherwise first attempt both lose second attempt a wins then a will be declared as the winner or third first and the second attempts 
attempts both lose third attempt a wins and it will be continued it will be continued that means probability of a wins is equal to you can write first attempt only a wins means probability of getting p first is p right on these are all exclusive not inclusive exclusive means r sense r either 1 or 2 or 3 you need to write plus only first only p plus next first attempt both lose that means a loses and b loses then Second attempt A wins. That means P. Q into Q into P. Next, both the two attempts both lose. Q Q first attempt. Q Q. Then this will be P. Plus and so on like that. It will be continue like this. Q Q Q Q Q Q and P and so on dash dash until he wins the match infinity. that means p common you get like this 1 plus q square plus q power 4 so on dash dash infinity so if you observe this is the sum to infinity of geometric progression sum to infinity of geometric progression s infinity formula is a by 1 minus r here a means first term is 1 common ratio is r value will be q square so that we get this is p times a a means 1 upon 1 minus q square both we know the p value and q value substitute probability of a wins p of a is equal to now instead of remembering all these things simply you remember this formula p is the probability of success q is the probability of failure if a start the game P of A is equal to formulated P of one one minus Q square. Leave all these things. Simply remember this formula. So this is equal to P stands for what is the P? P is equal to you can write one upon six Q square. One minus Q square means twenty five by thirty six. So this we can write one upon six into 36 by 36 minus 25 is 11, so 6 by 11. This is the answer. 6 by 11. So that means, right? One thing, you take this formula. so that means now the probability of uh, success p of a wins is equal to you remember this formula p upon 1 minus q square this is the shortcut this kind of problems you remember this shortcut the directly i will write p is equal to probability of getting 6 when a dice is rolled 1 upon 6 Q will be probability of not getting six. One minus one by six, five by six. So p value, q value substitute, you get six by eleven. Okay. For example, A, B, C are there. Three are there. Probability of g A wins. P of A is equal to. You remember this formula? What is the formula? Uh, that will be p upon 1 minus q cube probability of b p of b is equal to p q by 
1 minus q cube probability of c p of c is equal to p q square by 1 minus q cube so next p of b wins for example if you are asked p of b wins if a begins the match that will be p q by 1 minus q square for for example instead of a b a b c 3 are there you remember this shortcut you remember this shortcut Sixty-eight. Sixty-eight question. Sixty-eight. Three persons A, B, C in order. In order means one after one. That means initially A begins. In order, toss a dice. Toss a dice. The person, the person who first, who first throws one or two wins he will be declared as the winner the ratio of the ratio of the probabilities probabilities of their success their success success is first option 4 is 2 6 is 2 9 second one 6 is 2 9 is 2 4 third one 9 is 2 4 is 2 6 fourth one 9 is 2 6 is 2 4 Okay. Three persons A, B, C in order. In order means actually A begins. A begins. A start the game. And toss the dice. The person who first throws one or two will be the winner. Wins. The ratio of the probability of their success. P of A is to P of B is to P of C. So, okay. Uh, now, solution. P is the probability of success. Probability of success. That means, probability of getting 1 or 2 when a dice is rolled. 2 cases of, out of 6. That will be 1 by 3. Probability of failure. P of failure equal to P plus Q is equal to 1, you know, Q is equal to 1 minus P 2 by 3. A begins the game, P of A, a given shortcut. What is the shortcut formula? That is P by 1 minus Q. What is P of B? P of B is equal to PQ upon 1 minus Q cube. P of C equal to PQ square upon 1 minus Q cube. This is the shortcut formula. Shortcut. So what we need to find out ratio. Ratio means P of A is to P of B is to P of C. 
equal to uh, this you check it now this one is to this one is to this one denominator same denominators will be gets cancelled we get numerators p is to pq is to pq square then p p p also gets cancelled we have 1 is to q is to q square substitute the q value so this is equal to 1 is to q is 2 by 3 because this will be 2 by 3 q square is 4 by 9 multiply with 9 you get a 9 is to uh, 3 3 ja, 6 is to 4 so 9 is to 3 6 is to 4 fourth option is the right option Yes, option 4. One minute, I will check the question. This is the last question of the probability. Okay. Sixty-nine. Box. A contains box A contains two block and three red balls. Three red balls. Why? Box B contains box B contains three block and four red balls. Four red balls. Out of these, out of these, very lengthy question, but uh, answer is very simple. Out of these two boxes, two boxes, one is selected at random. One is selected at random. And the probability probability of choosing probability of choosing box A is double that of is double that of is double that of box B. Please wait for a while because I need to write the question. Box B. If a red ball, if a red ball is drawn from the selected selected box then the 
probability that probability that it has it has come from come from box b is this is the question first option 21 upon 41 second 10 upon 31 third one 12 upon 31 fourth one 13 upon 41 question is very lengthy dishwank what happened already completed from modini yes part 2 yes we have already completed box a contains two black three red balls box b contains three black and four red balls out of these two boxes two boxes one is selected at random out of two boxes one is selected at random the probability of choosing box a is that of double that of box b if a red ball is drawn from the selected box then the probability that it must come from b it must come from b so now let us do it now 69th solution see here we have the two boxes a box and b box now a box contains two block three red total there are five in whereas in second box contains three block and four red balls total seven there are so now first we need to select the bags condition is there that means probability of selecting first bag p of a is equal to probability of selecting choosing box a is double two times p of b only two events means we know that p of a plus p of b is equal to one so substituting here 3 p of b equals to 1 p of b will be probability of selecting bag b is 1 upon 3 here obviously p of a becomes twice double this one 2 by 3 probability of selecting bag a bag b completed so now what we need to find out now here what we need to find out we need to select randomly red ball red ball we need to select red ball it should come from this one so that means it should come from box b box b so let r be the event of getting getting a red ball And what we need to find out here, we need to find out that red ball must be from B. That means P of R conditioned on B. Apply multiplication theorem. So, conditional probability theorem. What is the conditional probability? P of that is B intersection R upon you can write P of black ball. Sorry. Uh, P of B intersection R, P of R, probability of R. P of B intersection R means we can write, uh, that means P of B intersection R, we can write like this, P of B times P of red ball from box B. Upon P of B, you keep P of B like this, P of R. So, P of B is 1 upon 3, getting red ball 
from this one. How many red bars are there? 4 out of 7. 4 upon 7. Divided by probability of selecting red ball. Red ball means it may be selected from first one or second one. Or choice is there. So that means actually what is the probability of selecting bag A that we can write like this. P of A is 2 by 3. And we need to select red ball from this one. 3 upon 5. Plus, it may be from this one also. That is nothing but 1 by 3 times 4 upon 7. So, generally we can say that is Bayes theorem. We need, we need not remember Bayes theorem also. Simple with the help of this concept also we can find out. So, now 1 by 3 taken out, taken common out. This 1 by 3 will be gets cancelled. So, this 3, 1 by 3, this 3, 3 will be gets cancelled. What we have here? 4 upon 7 by 6 upon 5 plus 4 upon 7. This 4 upon 7 by 35 is the LCM. 42 plus 20. 4 upon 7 into 35 divided by this will be 62. 7 5 ja, 2 2 ja, 2 31 ja. 10 by 31 is the answer. Yes, 10 by 31 is the answer. Right. Uh, I suggest all of you one thing. So, practice more problems on this one. Practice more on this one. Because still we don't have enough time. Otherwise, I will be discussing one more session also. But these problems are very simple. In a simple manner, you need to do it. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. So, this probability has been completed. Still, now I need to complete uh, the statistics as well as uh, some theory of equations. One uh, episode is there that I will complete. Okay. I will take care. Right. Thank you.